let's get into the book of Boba Fett. And what happens this episode? Um, Boba Fett takes his dog for a walk. Hello guys and welcome back. Welcome back to Dylan's Little Hobbies. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing none other than, yes, The Book of Boba Fett, Episode 7, The Season Finale, aka The Series Finale. I do not believe that we are going to get a, another season of the show. If we do, that will be a huge surprise. I don't know, maybe later on down the line we could get possibly a season two continuing the story of uh, Boba Fett, but I think we are going to get the a short continuation of this story within the canon at some other time, if not in a season two. I don't think we're going to get a season two though. So let's call it what it is, a series finale of the Book of Boba Fett. Absolutely enjoyed the episode. And I was supposed to do a watch party with my friend Ninjoy243 over on his channel. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it to that. Um, so I just decided, you know what? I'm going to do a live reaction on my own channel, a little watch party. And I actually got some new people to subscribe to me. Uh, and I wanted to thank those who have watched that reaction and have subscribed to me. I want to thank you guys personally. Thank you guys so much for more videos coming from me. So with that said and all out of the way, you know before that Boba Fett met with the crime bosses of the town to leave things the way they are, keep their heads out, keep their business out of, of course, Boba Fett fighting off the crime syndicate, the Pikes. And, uh, yeah, they all go back on their word. You can't trust villains, right? You can't trust villains. I actually really liked Boba Fett's plan here to separate out his team so that the Pike Syndicate could come in and ambush them, you know? Unfortunately, they were not prepared for the amount of, uh, Fight, uh, fights they had to do because every single one of those bosses um, betrayed Boba Fett and got involved working for uh, the Pikes and so what should have been only a handful of Pikes to deal with turned out to be an army that they had to fight. Remember his name? I was supposed to remember his name but I think he did a pretty good job at destroying some of these oncoming foes. I've, I really enjoyed uh, Corsantin, I think his name was. Is that his name? Corsantin? Oh my god. I can't remember names, but he was fantastic and I enjoyed, you know, the fighting from everybody. I really want to focus on Boba Fett and Mando. So, the Pikes go straight to Boba Fett and Mando. And at first, who shows up? Oh yeah! The big bad blue guy himself, none other than Cad Bane. And Cad Bane lets it slip. He taunts Boba Fett with the fact that his tribe, the uh, Tusken Raider tribe that he was a part of, was killed. But not by bandits. I knew that this was coming. They were actually killed by who? By who? Oh yeah. The crime syndicate, the Pikes. Boba Fett tells him he's not going to negotiate with anyone but the main leader of the Pikes. Cad Bane leaves empty-handed, and that's when they all attack. And of course, guess who comes in to try to save the day? We got Mando, and I really enjoyed Mando versus Boba Fett, and and there was this really funny scene with the uh, the guy who was working 
for the mayor of the town, the Twilight guy. You know, he, he's like, he comes in, you know what, on Coruscant, and I love learning some of his history actually. On Coruscant, he actually learned how to um, talk negotiations, and so he uh, tells Boba Fett that, you know what, I could negotiate on your behalf a surrender. And so I, I knew, I knew that that wasn't going to go the way that uh, the Twilight wanted. That Boba Fett literally wrote down um, on the negotiation pad, Hey, guess what? You get nothing. You leave. Or we attack. Like, that's basically what he said. I I love that. That that was so funny. I love that moment. Boba Fett and Mando on jetpacks flying through the air, defeating the Pike. We got these big, massive, and I mean massive droids coming in. I don't know what those droids are called, but it re they remind me a little bit of... Uh, the droidicas because the droidicas actually had shields we know them from the prequels so I really liked them bringing back the whole droid with shield things and they struggle against them as well that was great oh and I forgot to mention the moment where it, it seems like Boba Fett and Mando are going to you know go go under they're going to be defeated by all these pikes and guess who shows up the people of the town, the people of that one town that Mando helped, the people who worked um, under the name of Cobb Vamp, they show up and in honor of Cobb Vamp, they try to help Mando and fight Bell with the Rancor and the droid that was great with you know, I, I gotta say it, Boba Fett's dog really can mess some people up. Now, unfortunately, the Rancor gets free, and guess who comes in to save the day? Um, yeah. Yeah. We got, uh, we got my little guy here. We got, uh, baby Grogu, who has decided to become a Mandalorian, but he has force powers. And I love the fact that he used the Force multiple times and didn't pass out in this episode. He was able to save his da dad pretty much twice. Once with the big battle droid, and the other time he was able to connect with the Rancor and make it fall asleep. Now this is a Force ability we've seen plenty of times in Star Wars. And it seems like all I do is praise this episode. And then you get to Boba versus Cad Bane, which again, I love it, but I don't know. I don't know. Because the thing is, this means that Boba Fett never became the greatest bounty hunter ever, because Boba Fett's not a bounty hunter anymore. If I had to put this in the timeline, Cad Bane should be dead by the rise of the Empire. I would say around um, Bad Batch, Cad Bane should be killed by Boba Fett. And he's just not. So that means Boba Fett is never the best bounty hunter ever because Cad Bane is. And the thing that I really don't like is that Cad Bane got a shot over him. like. Yeah, Boba Fett won with the Gaffney stick, and that was really cool, killing him with the Gaffney stick and all, but I don't know, a, a good shoe out with Boba Fett, a younger Boba Fett, a faster, quicker Boba Fett, gain the draw on one of the best bounty hunters ever, is, to me, a more adequate death to the character of Cad Bane. So, I really loved Cad Bane in this episode. And, you know, I've always wanted to see him die at the hands of Boba Fett because I figured that's the way it was always going to happen. <sighs> but, I'm afraid that's probably like my major issue with the show is just bringing back Cad Bane. As much as I love him, it causes so much trouble with Star Wars, it really does. <laughs> and, and that's the thing, like, I enjoyed this entire series. 
I enjoyed all of the Book of Boba Fett. But at the same time, I have to admit this. It it isn't the absolute best thing we've seen in Star Wars. And indeed, while I think it was great, I had such a great time, I will probably never go back and watch these episodes. And, and like, people have trashed the Book of Boba Fett so much. Like, people say the only good part about this uh, series is Mando, and I, I disagree, but... Yeah, Mando is better than the Book of Boba Fett, and it was obvious, and I mean, you know, eventually he gets sidelined by uh, the story of Mando, and, and that sucks, and when I take everything in, and actually want to give this series a reign, the episode, I'll give a 10 out of 10, my god, fantastic episode, no, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 because of what I talked about with uh, uh, Cad Bane. But I can't help it. While I enjoyed this episode so much, I'll never go back and watch it. Um, I'll never go back and watch this series probably. So I have to give it a 6.5. Give it like my heart wants to give it an 8 or 9. But. I don't know, Disney has just ruined Star Wars so many times. The Book of Boba Fett actually ruins a little bit of uh, the timeline in Star Wars, in my opinion. Um, or at least what I think is Star Wars. Like, I think Boba Fett should be the best bounty hunter ever. I think Cad Bane should have died um, as the Empire rose. Let me know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts? Even though I know the majority of people did not like the book of Boba Fett, which, um, yeah, I can, I can understand. I disagree, but I can understand why. And, uh, it, it's funny because the best thing about the show is the worst thing about the show. And that was, uh, you know, Luke with the great lightsaber, that was Cad Bane being back, um, that was bringing back Mando and sidelining Boba Fett. Like, the best thing about the show, honestly, is its worst. Because the worst part about the show really is the fact that <sighs> Boba Fett just gets sidelined. I feel like instead of those Mando episodes, we should have built up like the rivalry between Cat Bang and Boba Fett more. And I mean, it, it, even then, I, I just don't think bringing back Cat Bang was a good idea. <sighs> Not in this series, at least. He should have been brought back in Bad Batch. He should have met Boba Fett. He should have died during the events, during the time period of Bad Batch, in my opinion. At the same time, it's Cad Bane in live action. I, I love it, though. I'm literally torn. I'm torn between two parts. I'm torn between loving it and hating it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you think I'm just crazy. Thank you guys for watching, and I am out. Bye.